I just had a great end to my season with Leicester City in the Premier League after mastering the art of free kicks. And now I have a new goal, to play for the US men's national team. The Copa America is this summer, and although I've never had a call up before, I think I have what it takes to play for them. But before I can consider making it to the international level, I have to earn a starting spot here at Leicester because right now, I am still a bench player. And to become a starter, I'll need to take the place of one of our current midfield options. Even though I'm in the Premier League, I've still got a long way to go before I'm ready for the international stage. So the new season starts and I am still on the bench. As Leicester City get off to a flying start and win our first match, I remain as an unused substitute. It's not looking good for me here, but what can I do to get more playing time? I mean, looking at this team, our center mid Nico Paz is definitely our star player and I'm way behind him in the pecking order. And as Leicester City keep on winning, honestly, I just seem to be an afterthought still here on the bench. With this kind of player ahead of me, I'm never gonna be able to start. Three goals in his first two games means Nico Paz is an undeniable talent. And if I wanna play Copa America this summer, it might be time to leave Leicester for somewhere that I can be a guaranteed starter. But I have a few weeks and the Carabao Cup is up next. This might be my only chance at an appearance, so I'm gonna play this game and then I'll decide, should I stay or should I go? I am determined to make this game a reminder to Leicester City of why I can be a top player for us. Even if Nico Pass is doing well, it doesn't mean I can't also. And within minutes of the game, I pick up an assist. Now sure, it's only against Crawley Town, but I'm only capable of playing against the teams I get an opportunity against. And I'm confident in myself that the technique I have to pull off these passes, I could do against anybody in the world. As I get another assist in this game, it's been a really bright start. But there's a feeling if I actually want any of this to translate into the Premier League, I need to do something incredible in this game. So for the first time in a while, I put my long shooting ability to the test and score an amazing goal to give Leicester City a definitive lead. Surely after this kind of performance, I have to be given more of a chance. The coach does look impressed, but is it enough for him to give me a bigger role? Well, the summer's ending soon. Should I leave Leicester City? My only offer right now is to join Bournemouth in the championship. And with a goal of playing in the Copa America, that's not gonna be a good move for me. I have to fight for minutes here in the Premier League and hope that somehow I can find a spot in this team. But what's it gonna take? Now sure, I looked great in the Carabao Cup, but that doesn't mean I'm actually gonna get minutes here in the Premier League just yet, because Leicester City have had such a good start to the season, they're not changing the lineup anytime soon. However, against a top side like Spurs, it's clear we're struggling to create as many chances and as we find ourselves a goal down, things are not looking great. Now, if I was ever gonna get a chance in the team, surely this has to be it. Chasing a goal, this is exactly what I can do and I am coming off the bench for my first appearance in the Premier League this season. Can I turn the tides and help Leicester City get back into a game that we have been completely out of so far? Well, honestly, I've done really well. It's not like I've been out of form and this game is no exception as I cut through midfield Field and play the perfect through ball for M. Dooney, our striker, who actually does all the hard work to score a goal there. But I've made an immediate impact off the bench and picked up an assist to help Leicester City scrape a point from a game in which we were pretty clearly second best. Now, I'm still far from being a starter, but it's clear I'm at least trusted now to be a super sub. And that's probably about where I was at the end of last season. But with a goal and three assists in my first two games, I think my output already is a lot higher than what I showed last campaign. So with no better offers, it's deadline day, and it's clear I'm here to stay at Leicester for the rest of the season. And hopefully, I'll be able to find a way to get more minutes in this team. And by some miracle, I won't be searching for long. Because in the final hours of the window, Arsenal come in with a massive bid for our highest rated midfielder, Gus Till, that we simply cannot turn down. So in the blink of an eye, we're suddenly down a midfielder. And for me, this is gonna open up a huge opportunity. There's not a lot of players left on the market. So we bring in Will Smallbone from Southampton, who is gonna be competing with me for that spot. Maybe he's a slightly better player, but while he settles into the team, I'm actually gonna be moved up into the starting 11. And now I have a small window to prove that I can make it here as a starting player for Leicester City in our next game against West Ham. So this is what I've been waiting for all season. I finally get a start and I absolutely have to make the most of this because if I don't impress, our new signing Smallbone is gonna take the spot back from me. And now more than ever, it's important for me to show these skills that I've been working on for my whole career so far, passing, shooting, and free kicks to put together the best performance I'm capable of as I pick up an early assist in the game. It's a brilliant start. And honestly, I haven't put a foot wrong yet this season. 
but nothing's enough until my spot is locked down. I have to be undeniable in this match, and I'm not quite there yet as I get an opportunity deep in midfield, and for the second time this season, I score a fantastic long-range goal. Well, talk about putting all the pieces together. These are the things I've built my career on, and so far, I've been making sure that they're utilized to their fullest here in the Premier League. And now for me to have the perfect performance, there's only one thing missing. The free kicks that I practiced to perfection last season. And now with a free kick just outside the 18 yard box, I couldn't ask for a better position for me to show what I've got. All the eyes are on me now as the pressure mounts. Can I score this and cap off what's been a fantastic game? Well, it was never in doubt. I'm in the form of my life, and that is the perfect performance. The trifecta of skills that I've practiced my whole career have all come together, and now surely I'll be a shoe-in for the starting 11 going forwards. All it took was a little bit of luck for me to get my chance, but I've made the most of it, and now I'm a surefire starter for Leicester City. And that's only gonna do good for my hopes of making the Copa America squad this summer. But there's huge news. Bradley Burke has just been announced as the new US men's national team coach after a few great seasons with Austin FC. But five seasons ago, Burke was the manager that froze me out of Austin FC. So it's fair to say it's not looking great for my chances of playing under him. But maybe with all the growth that I've done, he can see what a talented player I've become. But even if the coach changes his mind about me, there's already five or six talented players called up who are head and shoulders above where I'm at. And honestly, even in the remaining pool, players like McKenney, Aronson, and Adams are probably clear of where I'm at now anyways. So it's a reminder, I've done well so far this season, but I have a long way to go if I wanna reach my goal at the end of this year. But I think the message is clear, just more of the same. Three goals and four assists in three matches is about as well as any player could hope to do. But that kind of form is not exactly sustainable, and as clear as the season goes on, I'm not always going to be scoring and assisting at that kind of rate. As Leicester City's form dies down just a little bit, the questions start to pop up. Can we actually stay towards the top of the table, or are we destined to fall back to the middle of the pack? Well, up next, it's title favorites Manchester City. And this game's going to be huge, because Pep Guardiola has just announced he's leaving Man City at the end of the season, so there's no doubting they're going to be incredibly motivated to get good results out here. And I think this is the biggest test now for Leicester, to see if we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the biggest teams in the world and actually make a running for a European spot. And so far in this game, I'm looking really comfortable as maybe the best manager in the world watches on, Leicester City are looking pretty solid. Graham Potter's done a great job of building our squad over the last couple of seasons and with young players like me and Nico Paz in charge, it looks like we might be a team capable of some huge upsets. As we score first, things are looking really good already. But all those high hopes come crashing down pretty quick as Man City make it clear they are still a much, much better team than us and pretty easily deal with Leicester City to come away with a win. I played an all right game, but it wasn't enough to make a difference when the two teams are so outmatched. With Manchester United up next, it's not looking good for Leicester City's run of form because it's becoming more and more clear as time goes on. There's a large gap between us and the teams that are usually in the top six. But I can't be anonymous in games like this. If I want to call up to the Copa America, I'm working against the odds with a coach that turned me down in the past and several more established players still far ahead of me. I need to prove that I can be an elite level player in games like this. So even though Leicester City are struggling, I make it my mission to step up in this big moment and score another goal to at least pull one back late in the game. It's not enough to get the win, but it's enough for me to stand out. And with Leicester City knocking on the door of a potential European spot next season, that might be my best chance of looking good for the summer. If I can be the star player at a top six Premier League side, I don't see how I don't get called up. However, I'm not exactly the star player because Nico Paz is still the one getting all the attention. And the truth is we're both having very good seasons, but when it comes to media coverage and the general perception of Leicester City, Paz is the one that people think about first. But I'm here to challenge that because I am really stepping up this season in a huge way, continuing to score and assist at an astounding rate. I never thought I'd have this good of a season and I'm feeling really good about my chances for the summer. I'm full of confidence and playing the best football I have in my entire career and Leicester City are well on our way to a potential top six finish 
It's been a wild journey this season. I went from being a bench player to arguably our most important, maybe just behind Oz. But this season is just a culmination of everything I've worked on in my career, and I'm finally getting the chance to show off my robust skill set. It's all coming together finally, and now I feel like I'm ready for the next step up to the international stage. It's clear I might be one of the better midfielders in the league right now with seven goals and four assists. I don't know how I could be doing any better. Well, up next, we come up against Gus Till, who makes a return to Leicester after his big money move to Arsenal. And this is a great opportunity for me to prove that I'm not just an afterthought to fill in for a bigger player who leaves for a bigger club, but actually have merit on my own as a potential world-class talent. So I have to put that on display here, as Arsenal have a lot of possession early in the game, Things do not get off to a good start. Gus Till inevitably scores against us. And maybe this is a sign that I'm still not among that elite level of players yet. Arsenal are a better team and Till might be a better player. And that's made abundantly clear as we concede a second goal. Leicester City are simply outmatched right now and I've looked lost in this game. But seeing this level of competition and my former teammate shine against us gives me even more motivation as I play a great ball over the top that might be able to turn the tides here for Leicester City as we pick up a goal to pull one back. It's game on and this is a very important game for our chances at a top six finish this season. And I'm leading the charge here as I play a ball through for Nico Paz, who scores a second. There's still plenty of time left and we've completely turned the tides. It's looking like Leicester City could even go on to find a win here. It's been relentless in the second half, but can we keep up the pressure and maybe find one goal to settle the game once and for all as I take a touch into the box and a shot, it's in the back of the net. Incredible scenes as Leicester City take down Arsenal to give a huge Huge boost to our top six hopes. We might be in 11th place, but we're only two points off of the top six. So don't let that fool you. Leicester City are in a great spot right now. And I've made my way up through the ranks this season to now be an important player for our team. My talent has been undeniable. But it seems like no matter how well I do, Nico Paz is still outshining all my achievements and doing even better. It's a great problem to have because collectively, Leicester City are making a really good push. But for me and my personal ambitions of making the Copa America team with the US this summer, it feels like no matter how well I do, I'm always in Nico Paz's shadow. But there's no doubting this competition has been fantastic for my growth and the two of us are driving each other forward as the season goes on. The only downside is maybe I'm not the single standout player here, like I might be at another team considering my form. We have two great central midfielders right now and Leicester City are still on the up as we continue our push towards Europe. Nico Paz is still the one getting all the attention in the media following our great run of form. With about 10 games remaining in the season, we're still only a couple points off of the top six. We just have to keep this form up. Paz has 14 goals already, and I'm not that far behind either with eight goals and six assists. You have to imagine I'm in the running for an international spot now. So after all my work this season, we're about to find out where I stand because it's the international break and US head coach Bradley Burke is picking a lineup that looks likely to be the same he'll use for the upcoming Copa America. But the squad for these friendlies remains the same. The usual midfielders have kept their spots, so there's no new players. And although I've done a good job to improve this season, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm even next in line. I still have work to do to get a spot. The US men's national team has become incredible over the past few seasons and even their bench is looking very strong right now. It's gonna take a miracle for me to even make the reserves. And while I fail to get a call up, my old best friend Jalen Davis continues to thrive, leading the line for Juventus and our national team. He's the best striker this team has ever had. And Jalen's being talked about as a potential future captain for the US national team as Kristen Pulisic gets older. Davis is undoubtedly a world-class player and dare I say it, the US team is becoming world-class as well. There's a feeling they could or maybe even should win the Copa America. And there's a lot of talent in this team, but at the forefront of it all is Jalen Davis. He's scoring incredible goals almost every single game. And as kids, we had always dreamed that someday we could play together. And I guess even though we haven't talked in years, in the back of my mind, I was still hoping that could be the case. But as the team does well leading up to the summer and I'm not a part of the squad, it's looking increasingly unlikely I'll get into a team that already has some really good midfield options. 
The international break is over and Leicester City are very much still in the running for a European spot, but my time is running out. It's going to take an amazing end of the season for me to even have a chance, but as has always been the case, I'm up for the challenge and I get right back to assisting. It's a tough challenge this season, but don't rule me out just yet. And just like with earlier in the season, all these pieces of my skill set that I've put together over the years are just coming together in a way that they haven't until this season. Everything from passing to shooting, free kicks, fitness, it's all on full display as we keep on winning games. And now in the span of just two short seasons, Leicester City have the opportunity to go from a championship side to playing in Europe once again. And for the first time this season, I'm the one in the headlines for a change after an insane run of form. Nine goals and nine assists is something you just can't ignore. I've really had a breakout year. And now with only two games remaining in the season, we are two points off of the top six. This is totally doable. But the bad news is we're gonna have to go through the top two teams if we wanna get any points. Manchester United and then the dominant Manchester City. We failed to win against either of these teams earlier in the season, so this is the ultimate test to show we've improved and we're ready for Europe. There's so much riding on these final two matches of this season for myself personally to end on a high note and hopefully get a call up to the Copa America, but also for Leicester City to prove that we really are a club on the rise and are making a return back to the top of England. Graham Potter's done a great job building our side, but it's clear we still have a lot of areas for improvement and honestly, it's clear there's still a massive gap between us and Manchester United who are currently sitting second in the league. If we want to get results in games like this, at this point, it's probably going to take a bit of luck or individual brilliance, which is exactly where I might have to step up as one of our more attacking players. We've barely had any of the ball and any little opportunity we get is going to count for a lot here. As time winds down, we have managed to hold on defensively and although it's been a very one-sided game, Leicester City are very much still in this. As play continues on, this could be the chance! It's a save, but after the shot, it's a foul! And just like that, we're getting a lucky break late in the game here. It's going to be a penalty kick for Leicester City. And with all the eyes on this high-profile game, the pressure is put on my shoulders as our set piece taker to convert this penalty. Can I score? Yes, it's a massive, massive goal. This has to finally be the moment. I've emerged as a top player, and now if we can finish in a European spot this season, surely I'll be getting a call up into the US national team. One game remaining and one point between us and sixth place. We have to win this match. But against Manchester City, the best team in the league and probably the world right now, you could not ask for a more difficult game. And all the news going into this game is about Pep Guardiola. As he announced earlier in the season, he's retiring. This will be his last game in charge. And you better believe City are going to be determined to win this game at all costs. Can we spoil their party and make an upset happen here? Well, with the run of form I've been in this season, I'm backing myself to be a difference maker in this game. And so far, it's looking pretty good for Leicester City. I'm feeling comfortable in midfield and we're moving the ball around well. Graham Potter has set us up with an excellent system. But talking about systems, Manchester City has had about a decade to perfect the Pep Guardiola style. And just like earlier in the season, you can simply feel the difference between their team and ours. We started the day high on confidence and ready for the challenge ahead of us, but that quickly comes crumbling down as Manchester City tear us apart with three goals in rapid succession. That's the end of our hopes for getting in the European spot. And with that, my hopes of getting a call up this summer to the Copa America are looking very unlikely. But I have no other option than to finish the game to the best of my abilities. We might not be on track for a win here, but that doesn't mean I can't stand out to those watching. And although we're definitely outclassed on the night, I'm actually having a solid performance, controlling the ball well in midfield and moving it around, and I'm central to the handful of chances we do get, although we're unable to score in this game. But it's a loss and a disappointing end to the season, and at this point it's going to take a miracle for me to get called up to the national team. Can I find some kind of lucky break? Well, the rumors are that Bradley Burke is gonna stick with the same team from the international break, so my hopes of getting a call up 
are looking to be over. But I'm given a huge personal boost as after that last game, Pep Guardiola spoke very highly of me in the post-game press conference for my performances against his city side this season. And despite getting a call up or not, this means the world to me. It's a signal that I'm on the right track and I truly can be a world-class player if Pep Guardiola sees it in me. I know that I can be undeniable someday and I just have to wait for my chance to break through. But what's it gonna take to actually get an opportunity to do that? Well, right on cue, I'm given a lifeline much faster than expected. Malik Tillman has just been ruled out through injury, which means the US needs another attacking midfielder. And now the coach, Bradley Burke, has to make a decision. Who's gonna get called up out of the available central midfielders in the team? The lineups are gonna be announced soon, but was my season good enough for me to take over this open spot? Well, it's official. I'm getting a call up to the US men's national team for this summer's tournament. And just like that, my dreams of being an international player and reuniting with my friend Jalen are gonna come true. Bradley Burke might not be my biggest fan, but after the season I had and getting praise from Guardiola, he's no fool and I fully deserve this spot. And now I get the chance to prove to everybody that I am a world-class player in the making in this summer's tournament. Up next, it's the Copa America. And hey, if you guys have been enjoying this series, check out my Patreon to help support more content like this and also download my Career Mode Challenges Guide to help you make your own career modes exciting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.